I had flowers painted on my own. I'm Rebecca's mother. There's four children in the family, Christian, Belinda, Rebecca and Xavier, and Rebecca's in the middle. The day that she got diagnosed, we had to go to Port Macquarie for some scans, and as we were driving back, they rang and said, just keep driving. It was scary because you didn't know. They couldn't tell you over the phone, and we had to drive all the way to Newcastle, which was three hours from Port Macquarie, not knowing what was going on. They, they bring you in, and they show you all these pictures on the screen. They show you the really big tumour that's in her leg, and then they look at you, and they say, you've got a 23% chance of getting your daughter through. That's the scary bit. We have chemotherapy every three weeks and she also needs to get the bone replaced in her leg. They can't tell us when the bone will be ready. It's an ongoing process that it, it doesn't seem to feel like there's going to be an end yet. There's a lot of limitations on Rebecca since her diagnosis. There's a lot of things. She wants to go and ride a bike, but she can only do it for such a short amount of time. She gets tired. It's good to try and keep her stimulated and entertained because with um, chemotherapy they're always isolated in the room so um, oh, not allowed out to play with other children and so yeah, this just like helps her to maintain her imagination okay. and things that she's going to need when she goes back to school. The impact of play therapy on Rebecca has been very positive. She gets happy when they're coming. It enables her to keep her cognitive skills going when she can't go to school. And it enables her to stay positive and not worry about what treatment's happening around her. What we try and do is empower children with knowledge. And when you empower children with knowledge through those different activities, we can, they can gain some mastery over the situations that they, they will be in with the tests and the procedures. So they build up these skills and techniques that they can then utilise. And it's not only utilise it in hospital situations, but they will then be able to utilise these skills in life situations. The support networks of, of mum and my family and the school and camp quality, all those, there's no way that you'd be able to go through this process alone. You, you couldn't physically do it, you couldn't mentally do it. You, you just wouldn't be able to, to cope with the whole process without the support networks that are available. The process is what you make it. I've stayed positive throughout it most of the time. Becky's stayed positive. We squirt the nurses as they walk in with the syringes. You've got to keep it happy. You've got to keep it going. And that's where the play therapy and camp quality and everybody helps us through to keep us positive through the whole process. Becky is so wise now. You, you sit there and talk. You don't think she's actually listening, but she knows everything. The nurses go to swipe and give her a needle. If they don't wipe it three times, you didn't wipe it. She knows every little thing. She knows which chemotherapy goes first. She knows which chemotherapy goes last and, and what needs to happen next. And she really understands it. And for seven, it is amazing what she understands and deals with. She just takes it in her stride. She hardly ever gets upset about it. And sometimes I wonder who's mum. <laughs> Half the time she pulls me through. <laughs>